Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining. It's time for another exciting lightning talk. I'm Parag Kartikar, your host for tonight. I'm the head of consulting practices at Enderdom. Enderdom is a modern product and technology consulting firm, and our practice leads stay on top of the latest technology trends in the industry. And every Thursday at 5.15 p.m. Eastern, one of our consultants shares their knowledge of these exciting trends with you. And this week, I'm excited to present uh, uh, Brian Chiang, who is a senior Android engineer with us. He's going to give us an overview of Android foldable APIs. And I'm really curious to understand how you can take advantage of the extra screen space uh, that you get on the foldable Android phone. So without further ado, let's get it started, Brian. Yeah, thanks. Hi, everyone. Yeah, um, I'm yeah, excited to talk about foldable APIs today. Um, so first of all, uh, let me give a, uh, the photo phones overview. Uh, so foldable phones uh, is smartphone that feature the flexible display that can be fold or unfold and uh, allowing device transform, you know, size uh, to be uh, fold or unfold to be like phone size and to be a tablet size. And uh, I think affordable phones are on trending um, because you know Google already uh, released their first uh, pixel fold on the Google I.O. this year. Um, I think uh, personally, actually I uh, using about uh, affordable phones about two years right now. I really like it uh, because um, I like big screen and uh, I like, you know, watching uh, YouTube videos a lot of, <laughs> so like, I like, uh, it's like a mini tablet on my pocket. So I just can, yeah. So some of the uh, pros and cons for this, uh, as I said, like uh, it's increased a, a screen uh, real estate and it's a portable and it's good to fit in your pocket. You can bring it anywhere, but uh, it's a mini tablet, right? So, and the mini tablet means you can also um, doing the multitasking and uh, it improve your productivity. Like I can open um, because it's uh, you have a more space to sh uh, showing stuff. Things like uh, you can open one, two, three like applications at the same time, um, and uh, you can. You can see you can do the multi multitasking, and also there's uh, many of the affordable types like uh, like tablet side and uh, flipped, and uh, even bring the phone much smaller in your pocket, like a flip style. Uh, some of cons of this is dur uh, durability and the reliability. I should say um, because foldable phones being here. Uh, some years it's keep improving. I, I, I remember the first generation of the Samsung Z Fold. Um, yeah, they're not really uh, reliable, reliable. And the people, yeah, you know, the peel the like screen protector is damage the phone. Actually, that's not screen protector. <laughs> so, um, but it's keep improving. Right now, you can just um. And that the hinge is more durable and also waterproof. Um, so, but it's a get high cost. Um, if you want a bigger um, phone, uh, is right now the popular things in, on on the market is starting around eighteen uh eighteen hundred thousand. Um, but I I I should say it's like yeah, it's bringing down. A uh, little bit, uh, year by years. Um, other things you need uh, because foldable phones, uh, there's different screen size, different postures. You need uh, uh, the app, uh, um, app application developer need to optimize, and also some ecosystem support for different phone uh, uh, screen size. Um, to fit affordable from different posture and uh, different uh, screen styles. 
Uh, that's uh, what I'm talking about uh, today. So yeah, here are some of example um, of affordable phones. Um, I currently using the Z Fold 1, which is nice, but a little bit heavy, <laughs> but they keep improving. Um, uh, this is the Google uh, Pixel Fold. Uh, actually, uh, come into this year, uh, really nice phone. Uh, uh, get bigger screen and uh, some of different flips. Like um, flips makes uh, phone even smaller in your pocket, so it's feasible for deep. Uh, yeah, it's it's really nice. Like different, you can see foldable phone have different screens. I can get information on different screen styles. Uh, for, uh, take the Z Fold, for example, uh, Z Fold has um, many uh, multiple postures, like this is a uh, fold. And uh, when you open it, it's a uh, open flat, something like this. And also you can just rotate uh, to the landscape mode, which is something like this, and also even the half half opened. So um, in the software, uh, Google uh, provides some APIs to detect those postures. Uh, so um, so how do we detect those postures? So the answer is window manager. Uh, so the window manager is kind of enable application developer uh, to support new device uh, from factors and uh, like multi uh, windows environment, um, something like foldable phones. And also it detects some of the, you know, the bigger uh, screens and yeah, I will go deeper uh, later. So this is the window manager. I think the latest is 1.0.0, um, but uh, they're in the alpha 1.0.2. Um, so yeah, uh, another really good things like detect a lot of the uh, postures. So you need to use in window info tracker, uh, which is an interface in the Jetpack window manager uh, just exposed Windows layout information. I think it's a, so here's some code example. Um, basically you can just get uh, in, uh, Windows info uh, tracker uh, called uh, get or create and uh, pass the uh, uh, activity context. And uh, you can get the info layout, uh, um, Windows layout info. And uh, this is used the uh, uh, coding uh, flow to collect uh, uh, info. So when, um, uh, so also uh, remember to put this in the, in the life cycle. Um, the life cycle states should be the start, like uh, when user see the, uh, the activity, so that's, start to tracking the windows uh the um our, uh you know the state so also this is well uh this track will stop uh when the life cycle is stopped yeah so automatically again uh repeat again because we we calling the repeat on life cycle so repeat uh, tracking on start again so uh, some of the things is folding features. Uh, folding, so after that, you set up the Windows uh, tracking um, info tracker. So you can see, uh, you can use the fold, uh, folding features here and get a real information from your foldable phones. So I have the code snippets and uh, recording, but I, I like to, um, have a live demo. So that's a more uh, makes sense for this. Like, uh, so here um, I have the um, project set up uh, with uh, Android Studio. So uh, before demo, I think um, some of things, so uh, I'm talking about this uh, emulator. Um, as you can see, 
I'm using, uh, so Google uh, provides us emulators. Actually, you don't need a, a real device. Uh, some emulators uh, already like you can test in emulators because real device kind of expensive, right? But uh, yeah. Um, so uh, you can set up the, I, I set up the uh, this uh, emulator and also you can try uh, resizable, uh, this one, but it's in experimental. So maybe some bugs. Uh, so I set up this. Um, so I think as you can see, um, so this, this code snippet I, I talk about the setup and uh, going to here, and uh, I got a photo features, which come from the folding features is, uh, is then is the interface instant uh, uh, display features. So this one, I can get some of the API we can use for like a uh, detect fading, the screams fading, uh, and also detect the hinge. Um, it's a hinge uh, 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 orientation which is hinge is a uh, um, horizontal or vertical, something like that. And also the type, uh, uh, I think right now, yeah, um, let me let me show you. Um, for this emulator, actually you can just see here's a fold and unfold uh, option. So if you um, open this, uh, you can see I can put my phone in fold, uh, open, half open, and uh, open. So right now, um, this phone is a uh, open state. So you can see um, it's detect, uh, is screen separate, and uh, hinge is vertical, which is you see a uh, hinge should be something like this, uh, vertical, and also um state is uh, that. So if I put um, like half open, like which is I bend the phone a little bit. Okay, so you can see they detect this um, states as half opened um, and hinge is also, also this and I opened. Okay, it's, uh, it's flat again. So if I rotate this phone like one of the poster like uh, you opened it, you, you want to rotate. So it rotates and you can see, okay, uh, hinge is right now is uh, horizontal. So because you rotate like this and uh, it's flat and also you can get uh, opened, half opened state, something like this here. And yeah, this is a uh, one for demo. Um, so that after that, yeah, you want to build some adaptive layouts because uh, foldable phones or tablet can be different, uh, you know, uh, screen size uh, and also orientations, form factors, something like that. And uh, with that, also you can use. Um, um, Windows Manager and also the uh, uh, Jetpack Compose, which is a very good UI tool. Uh, I think uh, every Android developer should just go into Jetpack Compose right now. Uh, yeah, this uh, building UI faster. So as you can see, um, something like uh, you fold and unfold, you can see different layout here. And this, are the some of um, industry standard? I, I think it's a uh, um, recommend from Google. Is like, okay, this is a uh, six hundred dp, uh, which is co uh, compact, uh, medium, um, and uh, extend. Uh, so this is wise and the height is from this. Uh, too many DPs uh, from here to compact medium stand. And uh, according to those data, we can uh, uh, construct this class. So we have different states um, and uh, we can get like what from the red uh, DP size, uh, we can get uh, 
uh, what, what state is the phone in and use those state like um, I'm on the extend state. So when I on the extend it, I wrote some, um, you know, the JPEG compose um, uh, code. Uh, I add uh, apps navigation uh, rail here to this screen. And uh, yeah, on the extend date. So what I mean by that is, um, this is the this is a demo for that. Uh, let me run this. Uh, yeah. So let me let me go to the. Okay. Sometimes like some of this is. Um, let me go to the the. Okay. Um, this is the uh, app entry, uh, which is main activity. Um, this, uh, in main activity, I have this uh, Windows calculator Windows size class, which is set up uh, Windows uh, class uh, calculator, something like that. And I pass it to the JPEG Compose app, uh, code. And uh, Windows class, I should I say, uh, this those code is getting from the this is the getting from the what state the phone in. So after that, um, I, I have the state, and I can just uh, if I in this state, I end this nav uh, app navigation wheel. Uh, so for demo, I this is the fold. You can see this is a okay. Um, let me do this. Uh, okay, so currently the phone is in fold state, closed state, fold state, and uh, if you can see this layout is something like this. And uh, if I open it, it's it can it's it's getting a. You can see more context. And the uh, thing is, if I rotate it, okay, you can see that it's in the stand, uh, like the, actually the layout is changed because due to the different screen size and uh, there's more, actually the more screen size and uh, you can fit more content. For this, you can get different, um articles yeah you can select and uh, utilize the uh, more space in here um because of this uh class setup uh yep and yeah this is set by set uh screenshot comparison you can see this is the and this is different layout because uh, we end a uh, 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 navigation rail on this. So, okay. So, some of useful links, um, like I said, like this is a window um, window manager uh, which is released, and uh, this uh, the samples of window managers and uh, Google have guide to about talking about uh, large screens and the learning about photos and also some of you know collabs uh they haven't updated collabs recently uh it's like uh two years ago but uh i think they have uh, more sample on the window manager um on in the platform uh like platform uh samples okay so like here so you can check out um okay that's it um any questions yeah I, I have a question brian um first of all i love the presentation uh this is such a new technology and is super cool and that just more and more android phones are coming out with it uh when we were looking at the jetpack compose code and it it was just basically an if condition right so we can just write normal compose like we would with anything else because that state will tell us if it's you know, which state it's in, correct? We don't have to remeasure, it just, it will happen, right? 
Yeah, that's right. That's correct. That's a super easy for Jack have composed like um, when the state change. Yeah, it, it, it's showing different layout. Really like that. <laughs> okay, uh, but a follow up on that, you have to get the phone state from the activity though, right? You can't usually get it from within the jetpack uh, within the compose code. Yeah, I think uh, uh, you have the the measurement setup. Uh, you can use anywhere in the. I think that is uh, you can set up uh, yeah, anywhere. I think yeah, of pass. Yeah, you need to set up in the activity and pass in the compose. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> hey Brian, I'm curious about something. Um, so first of all, excellent presentation. Thank you so much uh, for it. Uh, it's really exciting and I'm wondering, and you or Greg or others who are working on Android apps for big uh, enterprises, um, do you see these enterprises thinking about um, uh, these uh, larger screens, extra space? Like what's, what's happening? Like how, what, what's going on uh, in large enterprises? Yeah, I think the uh, large enterprises uh, needs uh, the application actually adapt different uh, screen layouts, uh, different screen size, and also foldable things. Yeah, I think there's uh, they need to do that uh, situation. So they uh, need to handle. Do you see? Do you see the like when you get the design specs? Do you mm -hmm. see designers thinking about uh, that and? Are they already thinking of optimizing that additional space? You see yeah. that shift shift. Yeah, 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 that's a good question. Actually, uh, yeah, we have the the designer like guides for the more uh, large screens. Um, for like Android, have the uh, navigation wheel and the like a navigation drawer to fit in the large screens. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we definitely have that. Yes. I'll also jump in and add a little color. Uh, mm -hmm. I think for Parag's question, a lot of companies are not considering foldables yet. They're really not giving it the amount of focus that it should have because generally uh, when it comes to these sorts of things, the phones are super expensive, first of all. And usually there's a question of why should we devote you know, development time to a niche product? But I really believe this is the way in which many phones are going, many different companies are going to make foldables and it will become a new standard, just like big phones used to be made fun of when the iPhone was small, uh, but now every phone is like six, seven inches. I think the foldable technology revolution is going to be here. And so it's going to change the differences between tablet and phone. It's like, no, your app just has to work across all of it. And yeah. that's what, you know, the companies that really invest early in this foldable space, I think are going to get a leg up on everybody else who isn't considering it. And I also believe that there is a lot to learn both from design and from development about how to think through this. Because we think a lot about our designs and like accessibility, but we don't always think about our designs in terms of foldability. Like how does this really mutate over different screen variations? And they're very closely related because a really accessible design is also one that is flexible to many device sizes. So if you are considering accessibility, the jump to thinking about folding uh, folding postures i think is a very easy swing yeah so foldable uh for foldable right now yeah big lot of company just uh, um consider like a large screen like a foldable you you open the it's a large screen the mini tablet so, so you, you can uh, adapt a different layout on foldable size also but uh i already seen some uh company companies like adapting foldables like maybe place a video you can just Utilize the half uh, opened. You can so uh, also the the camera app something like that. You can see a camera and you so it's a control panels under it. So yeah, I think definitely a trending. Yeah, adapting. Hey Brian, this this is Satish. Uh, will the same code work for the Android tablet uh, which you wrote for foldable? Like for example, I I rotate the uh, tablet into landscape mode and. Will it still have a split screen, uh, which you wrote for four level, uh, or is there a caveat for that? Yeah, it's uh, it's also work on the on the tablet that's uh, API. But the the API I, I talk about the foldable features, 
that's uh, also just just for, for the football only the you know it, it can detect the uh, uh hinge uh it can detect the football postures something like that yes okay i think that's it thank you thanks a lot brian great talk and um, as a reminder to all of you we do these lightning talks every thursday at 5 15 pm eastern time please make sure you mark your calendar for next week and thank you all once again for joining have a great evening and i'll see you guys next week